I'm gonna show you the best Chromebooks you can get at every price range. No matter your budget, I will help you find the best pick for your needs. Let's go. First, we're gonna take a look at the best options in the under $250 range. Asus Chromebook CM14. This Chromebook is a straightforward, no frills machine that focuses on the essentials. I found it to be impressively light and came for a 14 inch device, making it easy to carry around. The design is simple and while the black color might not be the most exciting, it looks professional enough for everyday use. It's got a decent selection of ports including USB-C, which is always a plus for connecting to various devices. However, the display is a bit of a letdown, as it lacks sharpness and can be too reflective, making it hard to see clearly from different angles. Performance-wise, it's okay for basic tasks, but it can struggle with multitasking, especially with only 4 GB of RAM. I'd recommend this for students or anyone who need a super portable device for light work like browsing and document editing. But if you need something for more demanding tasks or better visual quality, you might want to look elsewhere. Lenovo IdeaPad 3i Chromebook I think the Lenovo IdeaPad 3i Chromebook is a solid, budget-friendly option that gets the job done. It's powered by an Intel Celeron N420 processor, which is adequate for everyday tasks like browsing, document editing, and streaming videos. I appreciate its lightweight design, which makes it easy to carry around, perfect for students or anyone on the go. The 14-inch Full HD anti-glare display is also a nice touch, ensuring clear visuals even in bright lighting conditions. The keyboard is decent, though some might find it a bit mushy. It also doesn't have a backlit keyboard, but its sturdy build and reliable performance make it a worthy choice for boosting productivity and efficiency. This Chromebook is ideal for business professionals and students seeking a reliable, portable solution. However, if you need a laptop for heavy-duty workloads, I would suggest that you look elsewhere. Next, we're gonna take a look at the best options in the $250 to $350 range. Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3 Chromebook This Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3 Chromebook is great for those looking for a super affordable device that still packs a punch. I was surprised to see a 1080p display on a Chromebook at this price point, as usually, you have to make sacrifices when buying a cheap Chromebook. The screen is also a touchscreen, which is a big plus for me, as I love being able to just have the screen when I need to. I think this Chromebook is perfect for students or anyone who needs a lightweight device for travel. It's not the most powerful Chromebook out there, so I wouldn't recommend it for heavy multitasking or gaming. But if you just need a basic Chromebook for browsing the web, checking email and watching videos, the IdeaPad Slim 3 Chromebook is a great option. Plus, the battery life is amazing so you can easily get through a full day of use without having to worry about charging. I'd say if you want a cheap Chromebook with a good display and long battery life, this is the one to get. Lenovo IdeaPad Duet 5 Chromebook this Lenovo IdeaPad Duet 5 Chromebook is a 2-in-1 convertible laptop with a detachable keyboard and kickstand. I think the Abyss Blue color looks really good. The screen is a 13.3-inch Full HD touchscreen that's super clear and bright. I find it to be awesome for watching Netflix or scrolling through Instagram. The touchscreen is also responsive and feels natural to use. I think this Chromebook is great for anyone who wants a portable device with a fantastic display and long battery life. It's not the most powerful Chromebook, so I wouldn't recommend it for demanding tasks like video editing or gaming. But for everyday tasks like browsing the web, checking email, and watching videos, it's more than capable. The keyboard can feel a bit cramped and the touchpad isn't the best. But overall, I think the IdeaPad Duet 5 Chromebook is a great value for the price. Next, we're gonna take a look at the best options in the $350 to $450 range. Acer Chromebook Plus 514 This Chromebook is a solid choice if you're looking for a reliable device for school, home, or office use. It's not the flashiest, but it gets the job done. The Acer Chromebook Plus 515 is designed to enhance video conferencing and boost productivity with its 14-inch display and AI-powered video call tools that improve clarity and lighting. I like that it has a durable build, so I wouldn't have to worry about it getting beat up in my backpack. It's a good fit if you need something for everyday tasks like email, browsing, and productivity work because it can handle multiple web apps and browser tabs without slowing down. However, the screen isn't super bright, so it might look a little washed out in bright light, and the audio quality isn't the best, but it's still suitable for video calls. Plus, the battery life is around 9 hours, which should get you through a workday. If you need to edit images or videos or want the best possible image for your post-work Netflix bench, this might not be the one for you. Google Pixelbook Go I think the Google Pixelbook Go is a great option if you want a lightweight Chromebook with a fantastic keyboard and long battery life. Its thin and light design makes it easy to carry around, and I appreciate the rippled base that makes it easier to grip. The keyboard is super quiet, which is great if you're taking it to class or a library, and the battery can last for up to 11 hours, so I wouldn't need to worry about charging it during the day. This is the Chromebook to get if you want something for media consumption and remote work. The 1080p webcam is a standard feature, delivering clear video quality, and the speakers sound great for a laptop this size. 
the lack of a biometric login might be a downside for some and it's not a two-in-one so you can't use it as a tablet. However, it's still a solid choice for students, professionals, and anyone who needs a reliable and portable Chromebook. If you need a digital stylus, this may not be the best option for you, as it does not support it. Next, we're going to take a look at the best options in the $450 to $500 range. Asus Chromebook Plus CX34 This Chromebook really impressed me during testing. The Asus Chromebook Plus CX34 is an affordable option with improved specs that really brings the best part of the Chromebook experience to a desirable price point. I'd say this is perfect for students or anyone needing a reliable budget-friendly device for everyday tasks. The high-quality Full HD display is a huge plus for streaming and working on documents, and the antimicrobial coating is a nice touch for those of us who are germ-conscious. However, if you're a power user needing long battery life or plan on running demanding applications, this might not be the best choice. The battery life is pretty standard for a Chromebook, but nothing to write home about. Gamers should also steer clear, as the integrated graphics aren't up to par for anything beyond basic Android games. Let the IdeaPad Flex 5i Chromebook Plus, this in 2-in-1 Chromebook is a fantastic value, especially if you love versatility. The Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5i Chromebook stands out as a top performer in the Chromebook Plus lineup, offering a flexible design that easily transitions from laptop to tablet. I found the 14-inch display sharp and vibrant, making it great for both work and entertainment. The fact that I, it supports USI pen input is a bonus for anyone who likes taking notes or sketching. While it's not the fastest Chromebook out there, it's more than capable for everyday tasks, even with multiple tabs open. The build quality is solid and the keyboard and touchpad are comfortable to use. However, if you need the absolute best battery life or the most premium feel, you might want to consider other options. Also, the lack of an HDMI port might be a deal breaker if you frequently connect to external displays. Finally, we're going to take a look at the best options in the $500 plus range. Acer Chromebook Plus Spin 714 this Chromebook is an impressive package for anyone wanting a premium feel without the premium laptop price. I felt that the sleek aluminum exterior and gold accents gave it a luxurious appearance that really stands out. The keyboard is a pleasure to type on with a satisfying stab to each key, and the keys are backlit, which is great for working in dim environments. The build quality is excellent and I appreciate the attention to detail, like the design that prevents the keys from touching the display when closed. I think this Chromebook is best for those who want a versatile device with a premium feel and AI-enhanced features without breaking the bank. It's great for students or anyone who needs a reliable device for everyday tasks like web browsing, word processing, and video calls. However, if you need a lot of storage for large multimedia files, the 256GB might feel a bit limiting. Also, while the touchpad is responsive, it can be a little laggy at times, which might be a deal breaker for some. Acer Chromebook Plus 516GE This Chromebook is a fantastic option, especially if you're into cloud gaming. I was impressed by the vibrant and crisp 16-inch display with its 120Hz refresh rate, which makes everything look smooth. Whether I'm working or streaming content, the customizable RGB keyboard is a nice touch, adding a bit of flair, and the upward-facing speakers deliver great sound quality for media consumption. The performance is excellent thanks to the Intel Core i5 processor, which handles multitasking and fast app switching effortlessly. I believe this Chromebook is perfect for gamers who rely on cloud gaming services like NVIDIA GeForce Now, and anyone who wants a large, high-quality display for work and entertainment, it's also great for those who need a re reliable device for business use, with a comfortable keyboard and touchpad for long hours of work. However, if you need a laptop for local gaming with demanding graphics, this might not be the best choice, as it relies on integrated graphics. Also, the 8GB of RAM, while sufficient for most tasks, isn't upgradable, which might be a limitation for some users. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you found this video to be helpful, leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Alright, peace out.